Hello, Max Wright here, and I have the pleasure of being here with Patrick Byrne, CEO of Overstock. Now, you uh, made some uh, waves in the Bitcoin world earlier this year, 2014, when as CEO of Overstock, um, we, Overstock began accepting Bitcoin. Now, I, I suspect that had something to do with your libertine, libertarian leanings, but um, can you just share with maybe other companies considering taking Bitcoin, what some of the benefits you've seen, and specifically some of the benefits that uh, accru will accrue to um, first movers? Sure. Well, first of all, it turned out to be far less painful than I had imagined. We just got in touch with Coinbase and we integrated in the space of a week. And once it got live, there have been no problems, no hiccups. Nobody even has to. It just runs. It's just another payment method. So it's great. Uh, we benefits are you save about 3% on transactions and and you eliminate fraud and chargebacks and a bunch of bad things. That's even more savings. So a lot of good business reasons to do it. And as a business with an operating margin of about 1.2%, the ability to save 3% on some transactions is... It's a big deal. That's a, yeah, you're quadrupling your bottom line on those transactions. So uh, there's all those business reasons to do it. In addition, there's the, the case that there's an awful lot of people who are getting into this. It seems to be growing. It's... It seems to be 0.1 to 0.2 percent of the internet now, but it's growing at a rate of 25 percent a quarter uh, a month. The people who who have the wallets are saying they're they the rate of people signing up for new wallets is growing about 25 percent a month. Well, when something grows 25 percent a month, it doubles every three months, which means in a year it doubles four times, or hence is 16 times as big. Point is, it gets real big real quick. If, if this continues to grow at this rate, in another year or two, we're not talking about fractions of a percent. We're talking about 1%, 2%, 3 4 8 16 etc. So I think, so you definitely want to be uh, in on the ground floor. You want to get early, early, and you want to be known as one of the merchants who started taking Bitcoin and support this, because clearly Bitcoin has uh, some fervent... Followers, rabbit following, rabbit following <laughs> and you want to signal to those people that you understand where they're coming from. So for all those reasons, it's you're only you, you know if you're not doing it now, you're going to be doing it in five years. So anything you want to be doing in five years, you want to get you want to be doing now. I think. Right. Now you've received a tremendous amount of press as a result of this as well. Have you have you noticed that like affect the bottom line, or has it been more just in branding? It's more in branding. No, no clear. Uh, effect. I mean, we'll we'll sell ten million dollars worth, I think, in Bitcoin this year, so it'll help roughly about a million dollars to the bottom line, maybe eight hundred thousand or something. But so that's nice, happy, feel good about that. Uh, but it, the branding has been, and this I had no idea, but I mean, I just made this offhand remark to a journalist, and it turned into this global story that kind of forced my hand. That we go, you know, I said in late December, I said, yeah, we'll probably accept it by the end of 2014, thinking, well, I'll look into it and maybe we will. But just that remark got tweeted, and just that we, I realized, gee, something we, we had to get done.